this is lesson number five. Ah, this lesson will be something else. Ah, because we'll be learning how we set up our quiz or our test in Moodle. Well, it's going to be something else because we are going to learn how we set up the different types of tests for our learners. And I trust that you will have watched my video on the 20 golden rules in setting up multiple choice questions. That's the prerequisite for this lesson, lesson number five, on how we set up the quiz for the online learner on Moodle. So, let's get back to class. Yes, okay, welcome back to class. Uh, so delighted that you all, you, most of you, actually all of you, watched the video on 20 golden rules in writing multiple choice uh, questions. Today, July 8th, that's a Monday, 2019, and uh, we have one single objective for this lesson, which is just to set up a quiz in Moodle. But before we begin, uh, just on my way uh, within Lagos today, uh, I saw some very interesting signboards. Please don't piss here. <laughs> Filling station now open. Anyway, let's open our class and uh, do first a quick review of lesson number four. And then I gave you two assignments, by the way. We're going to review the assignments. The first one is for you to upload your lesson note. The other is to have 10 multiple choice questions on your lesson one. And then we had a discussion forum and we had a test. Now let's do a review of lesson four from all of you. Now I'm going to ask three of the participants to represent you. So what do you say? Uh, as you can see, I'm in the vehicle. It means that uh, distance is no barrier and location is no barrier. You know, you can see I'm in tough traffic. Oh, can you see? Top traffic, top Lagos traffic, Lagos traffic, everywhere is uh, blocked. Uh, so let's have a review. And we're going to start with uh, Adebinkwe, who is Mama Olamide, Adebinkwe Akitayo. So Binkwe uh, and, the, and the other two, you're going to tell us your quick your quick impression of our last lesson. You know, we're reviewing our last lesson now. So what do you, Binkwe? Make it snappy. Thank you very much, sir, for last week's lesson. Before, my laptop was bundled up with a lot of documents scattered everywhere, but now I've been able to organize my documents and I have a pretty neat laptop now, a pretty neat computer. Also, um, setting up my courses on the platform, I thought it was going to be very difficult from the videos I've seen of Professor Peter Okebukola, but now the our director, our Professor has been able to simplify the course. I can't wait to upload my courses online and become a facilitator. Thank you, sir, for being a wonderful Thank teacher. Thank you very much. We're moving on to Oluwadami Lola Salako. It's very soon going to be mommy somebody. You know, mommy. Uh, uh, so over to you. Give us the attention of lesson number four. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. First of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you for this wonderful e-learning experience so far. Um, I must say that it's been interesting, it's been amazing, and I've really gained a lot from it. Looking at our last lesson from lesson four, I've learned how to create a single folder for all my documents that I'll be using for my Moodle course. Rather than have all the documents scattered all over my personal computer, I can now create a single folder for all of them for very much easy access to Moodle. And I've also learned how to upload my content, that's my lesson notes, to the Moodle platform. Um, I've learned this using um, the ninth um, important steps taught um, to us by the professor, distinguished professor, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for this training. Thank you, sir. Yeah, now we go to Akko. The Akko leg of this uh, review is Ibuko Olagbimiro himself. The world class Ibuko. Over to you, Ibuko. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, this distinguished professor, people. Okay, we call for training. It has opened me up to a completely new frontier of knowledge. Let's say, for particularly stood out because I learned how to upload my course content directly to Moodle. If I copy and paste, how some elements can be missing, and how I can 
upload directly, import directly my Word document to Moodle. Overall, the discussion forum has made me yeah, given me opportunity to learn from people all over the world that I enrolled on because without being physically present together in the same place. And test and assignment makes it very, very powerful to review my lesson note again and again. It's been a very good experience, and I eagerly look forward to the remaining uh, part of the training. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you all. Uh, very wonderful participants. Like Ibuko said, uh, the rest of the of the of the course is uh, beckoning. Uh, this particular lesson, as I said, introduction is about how you set up your test, how you set up your push, and uh, so you go. <laughs> you are going to see the trouble may they go through at the back end, and then you will now keep the the, the locus of the action you know to you. So thank you very much uh, for your review, and uh, we we'll get on to get back to class. Ah, thank you very much, our three participants for your very kind comments. Actually, I've been receiving some encouraging comments from quite a number of you, and I'm going to uh, share an email uh, that I received uh, very recently. The email is uh, from one of our wonderful participants, Tunde Odeinde, and uh, uh, it's a good evening, Prof. Thank you so much for not only introducing me to this wonderful Moodle platform, but also taking time out of your ever so busy schedule. Yeah, I agree, my schedule is busy, but of course not as busy as many of you. We are just sharing knowledge, by the way, to train I and many others for free. Yes, of course, I've been training people forever and a day for free. The world of today and the world of tomorrow is for sharing for free. On how to set up our lesson notes and other training resources on the Moodle platform. I want to confess that I've been devouring so many of your other related video trainings on YouTube. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you. God bless you and all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone. Yeah, so we'll look at your assignment on uploading your lesson notes. Uh, I've checked through all of these and I found that you those are done so very very well uh let's see fred Awa from ghana uh fred so what do you have yeah this is your course let's say one this oh okay let's just let's see what it is yeah let's see let's say one yeah, it's uh, the one we saw, I think, last week. That's it, you know, the full lesson of this year. Yeah, I think we, we saw this. Wonderful. So let's check out another of our participants. And uh, you can see I'm navigating from here. You can navigate from here. Dashboard courses, miscellaneous, will give you all, all of us. Uh, let's see. Uh, who, who we get? Okay, now let's look at uh, Ade Inde who sent me this wonderful mail. Let's see his uh, lesson on entrepreneurship strategies. Entrepreneurship strategies. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, mind how I pronounce this word? I've not pronounced it, pronounced it as entrepreneurship. Entre, it's not entre, it's entre, entre. You got it? Yeah, class, I can see. Can you repeat after me, class? Uh-huh. Entrepreneurship strategies. So this is nice. So let us see uh, what we have. Okay, it's downloading it from here. Yeah, that's a PowerPoint file. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, so this one we have, uh, introduction, uh, methods, and so on. And this gives another perspective, another perspective to it. You can see he has uploaded it as PowerPoint. You know, you can upload it as uh, Word. So you have all done well uh, on that assignment. That is to upload your lesson notes. The other assignment, of course, is the 10 multiple choice questions. Now, let me see how you perform. Actually, I've seen them. Let me just share with you. A few thoughts. Before the few thoughts, by way of advice, dear participants, 
I would like you to note the following when sending an email to me. Uh, look at Esther Oluwabumi. Uh, she has written, I mean, she, she, she just did the reply to video lesson number four is now live. And look at what she said. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. I attached a copy of my multiple choice questions. But look at the title of the subject, video lesson number four. So please, when you are sending me an assignment, just put a new subject line. Indicate my multiple choice questions. That is number one. Number two is that, look at this, multiple choice questions on lesson one. I do not know who the author is. It would, I just have Esther Oluwabumi, and indeed, if I open this thing, I do not know the surname. Maybe it's Oluwabumi, I doubt though. So this is all I have. I only have this, let me enable editing. And you will see this, make it bigger now. So you will see, I don't know who I sent this. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you must put your name here, put your name as a file name. You must say, give me your surname, I don't know what it is, but assume it is Oluwabumi. You will just say multiple choice, Oluwabumi. Look at Eunice Ikpa. Eunice Ikpa is writing me, when I saw the, uh, the subject matter, scores for discussion forum number four. And all I'm seeing here is multiple choice questions. So, dear participants, please put here, what will it be now, Eunice? What will this be? Aha. Uh -huh. I can hear you say, this one will be multiple choice questions, Eunice Ikpa. That will be the file name. And of course, this one will not be scores for multiple choice discussion forum. You have to put a fresh, the, the correct uh, subject matter, which is my multiple choice questions. So, that, that 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 said, let's now look at all the, the other submitted. Yeah, so these are your submissions. You have to make me do double work. Please, let me do just single work. This double work because I have to be looking for your names to put your names on the files so as to guide my assessment. So let's look at a few things that you people did. Adibanjo, so what do you have? Adibanjo has this. Uh, this is the third, Adebanjo additional, okay? Culture can be defined as the social behavior and dash. Please and um, please, if you note that you have, oh, you disobey the rule, one of the golden rules, don't put any dash in the, cast the sentence in a way that will not allow you to put a dash. The disbehavior can be by both dash, no, 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 this is not acceptable. So we don't need to put dash, dash, anything there, dash. You are just putting dash everywhere. Uh, please, Go through the 20 golden rules again to find out what we did. Well, regardless, you still did tolerably well. Let's look at somebody. Next person is Adebayo Mohammed. Adebayo Mohammed, the same thing, dash. Please don't put dash anywhere. Uh, so this is fine. You see, this, this can do without a dash. Let me make it bigger. The binary equivalent of decimal number 10 is, you don't need this one there. You don't need this one at all, is that. So this is also fine. The decimal number 25 in binary format is, you don't need this. So please avoid any Mr. Dash in your submissions on multiple choice questions. Let's take another one. Agbulu Aji, I'll soon stop. Choose between, web is a complex system of interconnected. You don't need this one because you will have... You see, this is even wrong. Choose the best answer from option A to D. It means, Abulu Aje, you did not watch the 20 golden rules. If you did, you will note that even in the exam, the test, it is select from the alternative A to D that best answers the question or completes the statement. So, if it's complete the statement, you don't need this. All right. But all the same, your people did very well. Uh, no time to look at Everyone, but uh, I think uh, uh, Mr. Giri is next. Let's see what Mr. Giri has. The, the first test is now. Do not fear. That's not necessary at all. You don't need to, whether they fear or not, does it concern you? Just give your test. You choose, you have to choose the best alternative from the options that bear aside the question of complete statement. This is all you need. You don't need to tell them whether they should be afraid or not afraid. Uh, the first objective of this learning experience is to have an understanding. Question two, the third objective of this learning experience. I do not know on which uh, uh, on which topic you are deriving this. 
let's see your let me see now let me, let, let, let's see your let's go to miscellaneous again let, let me find out what your uh, your course is so i don't know why those questions are like that as we said you should have the questions relating to the uh relating let's say relating to the lesson that you was agree again now so agree yeah that's it my main techniques for administrators in institutions of higher learning so concept of administration techniques issue of universities in nigeria university administration so i don't know how those questions fit in but all the same you've done very well mr agiri and the others too so we have reviewed the uh, lesson four we have done the assignments let's look at how you perform the discussion for you did very well as you are aware a number of you scored 10 plus that's on top of 10 uh let's see let, let, let's have a scan of it yeah so as you can see the discussion forum you can see you scored very well 10 10 10 some 10 plus yeah so this is quite impressive uh so yeah book on 10 plus uh ambassador library on 10 plus yeah, I, I'm quite a number of others. So I'm, I'm quite impressed with this. Now let's look at uh, how you perform the test and that will wrap up our review of uh, lesson four. Yeah, so these are the scores for lesson four, alphabetical order of names. Uh, some did not score well, but I, as I mentioned to you in my email, I'm quite happy with this because uh, the sense I was getting from the back end is that some people, you know, are not too truthful in the way they are uh, attending to the test but now i can see that you all do this by yourself and uh, just be happy like i'm happy about your performance i'll show you how you can know whether your students are cheating or not you know uh, at some point during this uh, during this course so that brings us to the end of the review of uh, all we did for lesson number four so we're going to get back of course to lesson number five now it's time for action so fasten your seatbelt uh, whenever you go take my test on a friday i it is a two-phase process two-phase process so i want to teach you how to set it up to know what thing that they do every thursday night through friday morning you find that it is very 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 interesting let's take on phase one Phase one, before we take on phase one, the son told the father that day, my stomach is paining me. The father said, that's because your stomach is empty. So the son said, oh, now I understand. Why you, dad, you are always having a day because you have an empty head. So what we want to do now is to run through some particles that will fill our heads with 13 steps. So let's roll. So for the practicals uh, class, who are we going to? Which of you will uh, elect that will use your multiple choice uh, questions for the practicals? Uh, yes. Can I see a hand up? Okay, I can see Mommy Vicky here, Ulitola Amos. So let us use Ulitola Amos's uh, uh, question. Ten items. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very, very good. So, lesson one, multiple choice questions. Okay. Uh, let's go back to her, uh, our course. In getting back to our course, I'd like to let you know that we are in for 13 steps. 13 steps. Uh, the first one, like we had for the lesson no for the uh, and all the previous ones is to click here and that will take us to miscellaneous you will then click on the course and they will turn editing on so let me do this up to here for uh mrs olutola amos so here we are ladies and gentlemen we are miscellaneous so where's olutola amos yeah that's it introduction to sociology Ulutola Amos. So that's loading as you can see. They are fairly slow internet here, but slow and steady. We will get there. Okay, so that's it. Ulutola Amos, introduction to sociology. So what do we want to do? We want to set up the quiz for this course. Where is the quiz? Uh, so we're here now. 
we've, we're, we've uh, got on the class, we click on the course, and uh, let's see. So this is the quiz. Let me make it bigger, 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 bigger. So the tech item uh, test, that's what we want to load here. So this is Rutola Amos, Adero uh, Kerutola Amos. So the first lesson is introduction to sociology. We have the lesson note here. So what is the next thing? Uh, click on the course, that's the course, by the way. So let's see. Uh, click on, the, on your course, yes. Then turn editing on. This, as you can see, is the major thing. If you don't turn editing on, nothing go happen, no, my brothers, my sisters. So let's go to here. This editing is off, so we're going to turn editing on. As I mentioned earlier, turn editing on can be done there, or it can be here. Where is it now? Yeah, turn editing on. So that's it. You can see editing is coming on. Yeah, so editing is on. We are now ready. We have turned editing on. So number five, by the way, you are going to get this as we did for the other ones. It's like cookbook. When you want to cook uh, uh, soup, uh, add uh, one tablespoon of salt. Make you put okra. Make you put tomato. Make you do this thing. And after this, by, by this number 13, the soup will not come sweet. And that is phase one. I, I've told you, we're going to have fun in this lesson number five. So we have done what now? We are here, uh, lesson number one. And then click on add an activity stroke resource, like we have been doing. So as you've noticed, uh, steps number one, step one to five, like the same thing for the previous uh, uh, things we did. So uh, this is lesson one. Where are you, lesson one? This lesson one. So add an activity or resource. So I'm clicking on add an activity or resource, and it gives me what do I want to add? Assignment? No. Chat? No. Choice? No. Database? No. Feedback? No. Forum? No. Uh, where are you there now? You can see. Quiz. I click on quiz and I say add. You can see. Easy does it. We're getting this most model. So select quiz as the option to add. That is what I've just done. All right. Uh, uh, quiz. Okay. It's adding. Okay. Yeah, so here we go. It has given us uh, this, adding a new quiz to lesson one. It gives us this name. What will be the name of this your quiz? Self? What's the description? Timing, the grade, the layout, the question behavior, all of these, all of these before save and return to course. Now let's get back to our 13 step pro phase one. So we are here. Number seven, add the name of your test. Because asking for Nemo, so we will go to college test on lesson one. So name of test, test um, lesson one. Okay, now when you get to lesson number two, what will this be? Uh, Abu Aj, can you tell me or Debra or I can or uh, Ambassador? Yeah, you can hear them say it's test on lesson two. But now we are doing test on lesson one. Now this is description. Let's get back to step number eight. Add the content, usually the instruction. So uh, add the description. Actually, this is description, not content now. Description. Yeah. So let me make this red. Yeah. So add the description. It's usually the instruction that you give. Say so select from the alternative A to D that best answers the question or completes the statement. Make me a copy this. So let this be, you know, what you have in the description here. So that one, yeah, I just pasted, I just copied and pasted. So that, that does it. So we have done step one, two, three, four, five. We've done six, three quiz. We've added the name, we've added the description. Now, numbers nine, 10, 11 are very, very interesting. Uh, there are several other steps, but let's just stick with this three for the purpose of this training yeah so uh we we'll click on uh oh my goodness mail's coming in click on timing open close time limit so let's go to step number nine step number nine is timing click on timing and what have we asked to do in timing 
we tell tell the, the the module when to open the test, when to close it at the time limit. My participants, you recall that in the test we have taken, you will note that I will tell you that the test is open at 8 a.m. Like this last one for test number four. Say so it will open at 8 a.m. It will close at 6 p.m. This is now where you go indicate to your participants when the thing will open and when it will close and how many minutes they will need to answer the test. In our case this time, we say seven minutes. So see how it goes. As I told you, it's very exciting. We have exciting lesson today. So timing, you click on it like this. So open the quiz when. Now listen again. You have to enable it here, here, here. You have to enable this one. Yeah, so let's enable it. Let's assume that we want it to be on the 10th of July. And that's 10th July 2019. At this 22.39, that's about uh, 39 minutes after 10 p.m. So let's say you open it at, at uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. 8 a.m. So that will be zero, zero. Good. And when do you want the quiz to close? So you have to enable this one too. And they say, okay, I want you to close also on the 10th of July, but now at 6 p.m. No, that's not 18, eh? 18 00. So that's it, 18 00. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Note that we said in this uh, handout that we gave, we said, when it will open, when it will close at the time limit. Now, you can decide, this is, you have to enable it here too. You have to enable it. So how many minutes? In my case, you know, I used to give you seven minutes. Okay, let's say 10 minutes or one hour or whatever. Yeah. So you, you, the, the units is here. Weeks, days, hours, minutes. So let's say minutes, 10 minutes. So I've asked you to do timing, only open, close, time limit. There are several other, others there that you can experiment with based on your need. So we've done timing. We don't need to do great, 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 great. So this is grade O. So let's click on grade. What have we asked to do for grade here? Attempts allowed. Attempts allowed. There are several other things in grade, but I've asked you to do attempts allowed. This one here. So unlimited, and I like that. So just one attempt allowed. So you click on this, one attempt allowed. Finish. Then you go to layout, layout, questions per page. How many questions do you want to show up per page? Me, that's layout. I want to have five questions per page. That's what I've been giving to you. In some other instances, I normally give one question per page, but that may be difficult to. The reason that you just show you one question, you do, you click, it goes on. The clicking, clicking will take time, and you have internet challenge, now problem with that. But when you have five questions on the page, you can easily look at them, one, 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 click, 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 and then press on. So, have we done timing? Yes, we have done it. Have we done grid? Yes, we have done it. Have we done the layout? Yes, we have done it. My brother, my sister, what is next? Save and return to course. So, oh, wow. So, just go down here. There are several other things you, you, you should be exploring later. Uh, but for now, we just save and return to course. Yeah, when we save and return to course, the last thing is go back to the course to see that the quiz is set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting, oh, waiting, waiting, waiting. So, yeah. So, it didn't all happen. So, you can see uh, test on lesson one. Uh, I think we uh, I did this one. Uh, let me then delete this now. Okay. Let's, let's see. Let's see why we have 12 of them. Test on lesson one. Um, ah, okay, fine. So it's actually this. Okay, test on lesson one. You can see it. Select from the alternative A to D that best answers the question or completes the statement. Attempts allowed just one. The quiz will not be available until Wednesday, 10 July, 8 a.m. The quiz will close at Wednesday, 10 July, 6 p.m. Time limit is 10 minutes. No questions have been added. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of phase one. You have gone to check and it's there. Uh, so uh, what then do I need to do? Nothing yet. Phase one is just over.
Yeah, so phase one is over. Let's get on to phase two. I tell you, phase two is even more interesting than phase one. Phase one is like uh, getting the soup ready. Phase two is uh, getting, uh, let me see the kind of food we want to eat for today. What to eat this afternoon uh, or this day? Yeah, let's say panadium, you know, getting the yam, getting the water, getting the pestle and mortar, pounding, 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 getting the panadium ready. You know, get the soup, get the panadium. That's phase one and phase two, and then we are going to eat. So what's phase two? Phase two is just copying and pasting, just loading your questions to model. So uh, to get onto it, let's get one to it, our particles. For the particles, we'll see that uh, phase two is just a three-step process. Three-step process. <laughs> that is very deceptive, by the way, because there are three of uh, some interesting things they inside. So these are several steps, so, but generally you have three steps. So let's begin. Let's begin. Step one is to go back to your course page and click on your quiz. That's lesson one quiz. So let us get, let's do that. So there's the course page of uh, Olutola Amos, and uh, we have this lesson one, and we have the test. By the way, I deleted the second one. It just uh, duplicated in error. So what am I supposed to do? Click on this one. Test on lesson one. I've clicked on it. You can see it's loading from here, and here we go. So this is the page I showed before as the conclusion of phase one. So we don't do step one. Step two is click on edit quiz. So this is click on edit quiz. I'm clicking on this one here. You can see no questions have been added. So that's why step two, by the way, is just loading your questions, just copying and pasting. So follow instructions in this video of this video. Yeah, so in this uh, part of the work, part of the exercise where uh, you are you are loading your quiz to Moodle. Just open two files or open two two platforms. This one, that's the Moodle one, and your quiz, excuse me, uh, and your quiz, this one. So you open this one and this one, this one and this one. That's just all. You are just copying from your questions and putting to Moodle. So let's do a few of the questions of Mrs. Ulutola Amos. Now, question zero, no question there inside here. So what you do here is say add. You click on add and it asks you, you want to add, add a new question. And so point in our training, I'll tell you how you can get from a question bank. So a new question. And the thing asks you, say which kind of question? Multiple choice, true or false, matching, short answer, numerical, essay, all of these, all of these. Let's check what Mr. Ulito Laimos. Ulito Laimos just gave us multiple choice questions, like all of you in the class. So what we're going to do is we are going to select what now? Tell us, Mr. Ulito Laimos. Yes, multiple choice. So that's it. You just click on add. It's as simple as that. Hmm. Not as simple as that. So it's not telling us uh, what's the question name. Now listen, everybody, your question name is question number one. This one. That's the name of this question. Question number one. Question name, you say question one. Mm -hmm. What's the question text? Question text is this one. No. Which of the following best describes this? That's the question text. By the way, listen very carefully, everybody. When you are copying this one, make sure that this thing does not extend far beyond this point here. So let's see. Uh -huh. It has to stop there, not here. So it has to stop here. I do it. I do that again. Now this one is numbered. You have to take off this numbering because it's going to affect. Just take off all this numbering. Know which one is number one. Know which one is number two, and all of that. I'll just show you my own before I continue with this. Uh, with uh, this is where I have all our weekly tests. So this is the one with, with four tests. This is the test. See it now. Uh, may I not put, you just put the one on top because you are going to be copying here. So I put my keys. That is the answers. I put them in red like this. 
because I'm going to be copying and pasting. The moment you put this one as two and you use this numbering, it will affect the way it is loaded. But never, don't worry. If you have done so, we can always undo it. So let's get back to that of Mr. Lubodu. So our question text is this. Which of the following best describes sociology as a subject? As I said, make no let, don't let it go further than this place here. So you go to move it here. And then you copy. Yep. And then you come back here. And then you paste. Control V, paste. So that is it. So this one is done. Just click on this one. So that's it. Question text. That's it. So what next? The format is one. Feedback. Don't bother about any of these other things yet uh, until we, on the other phase of our training. Number the choices, number A, B, C, D, like capital. So you are doing this one, capital. So what, what is there now? So these are the key, the answers. So she has also numbered them. Don't number nothing. So just let me take off all this, all this number, all this, uh, aha, fine. So you know that the one that she has in bold is the answer or the key. In my case, I've used red. You may wish to change the red, it's important so that it, it will not, the, the red strikes out more than this one. Okay, so the first one is the study of individual behavior. Don't let this thing go like this. Oh. You have to come back, you have to let it just stay there, right? So we're going to copy, and then what you do, you come back to, excuse me, you come back to here, the answers. Choice number one, you paste. This thing is very simple, as I mentioned to you. You paste. Finish. So, uh, you see, this one grade none. The one that is the key, the correct answer, is the one you are going to put as 100%. This thing, just watch how I do it. So let's get on to the second one, the study of cultures. So you stop it here. You copy this. You come back here. That's choice number two. Forget about feedback and all that. We'll, we'll be looking at those later. Uh, choice number two, you paste here. Choice number three, you can see choice number three is the is the is the key. That's the answer. So you don't let it pass here. No, no, no. it's going too far. Like here, and then you copy, and then we paste choice number three. So the grade in this case for your key is 100%. So you look for 100% and put it there. So that's it. Number four, the study of politics, the study of economics of, uh, yeah, what am I doing now? Yeah. The study of, yeah, this. So you don't let it go. For, no, no, no. You have to stay there. So I'm doing control C and then I'm pasting. So what else? Nothing else. It's as easy as that. If you have some other options, uh, you can put them there. So all you need to do is just save changes. And that's done it. You can see it's saving the changes. And let's see what thing will happen. Uh, question number one will have is loading now. Uh, rather slow. Okay, so you can see. Question one is already loaded. Which of the following best describes and all of that? So, how do we do for question number two? Just add the same process. Actually, you have add here, add here, just anyone that uh, the spirit moves you to add. So, it will be new question, it will be multiple choice, it will be add. I will do, uh, yeah. So, question name, what is question name again? I told you. Question number two. So you put this one here. Question two. Mm -hmm. Easy. So question text. You go and look for the text. Is the, the 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 question text is this. So all this dash dash. I've, I've told you people don't do any dash there. Just uh, let it get up to here. Back to that, and then you copy. You come back here. You put it, yeah, that's it. You put, I, I just did control V to paste. So that's it, simple. Then the fold mark, leave all of this, leave all of this, and make this one capital, A, B, C, yeah. 
So the first answer, see which one I get to. Oh. It prefers, yeah, as I said, don't, don't put all this numbering. Take off this number. It will make it more difficult for you. So you stop this one, move this one back. And this one, you copy, and then you paste. <laughs> this one, this is days you. But that's what I've been doing, you know. I've been doing. When you see my test, that is all, that's what I've been doing. Not the easy thing. In one breath, I'm saying it's easy. In another breath, I'm saying it's not easy. Of course, I should. It's not easy. Uh, so you copy. You. That's number two. I'm going to show you something in a minute that I did. That, yeah, this is number three. Stop in there. I do control C to copy. Choice number three. Where are you? That's it. I pasted. Yeah. Choice number four is this. Okay, I've copied and I have pasted. I did something of you can see. So as I said, after putting your choice number four, you then say return save changes. That's all. Save changes. See what's gonna happen when I do save changes. It's loading now. It now tells me. Let's see what it, what it's telling me. Didn't know it is it, it's not going. It's telling me that one of the choices should be 100 <laughs> percent so that it's possible to get a full grade for this question. So that's why I told you I deliberately didn't put that's A, that's its first one, to be uh, to, to give it 100 percent And the system now prompted me. So you then need to do that. So you now go to the first one. And then uh, where's the first one? Yeah, that's this one. This is this one now. So you put it as 100 100 percent yeah, so the thing don't happen. Module is happy now. That there's only one. So if you click save changes. Yeah. And as you can see, it's loading. And the uh, system is low. But I'm sure at your end, it's not. It's not yeah. So we have done two questions now. Okay, it's repeated one question. You don't to delete, you just click on this one. Because that's the same thing at the end. That uh, I think I. I Double click this. So you have question one, question two. I'm sure you can add question three. It has a new question, multiple choice. You do this, you copy and paste. I've told you that this phase two now as easy as that. But let me take a quick look at, uh, at these questions. A number of rules have been validated by Mr. Lutola Emos. Which of the following best describes the solar subject? The study of individual behavior, the study of this, the study of this, the study of this. I've told you people, when you have repeating, repeating things here, you have to put them in the option, in the, in the step. Mr. Utoya Moss, I sure you watch this video. Yeah. So it will be, uh, uh, which of the four events as a subject? Uh, it is, I mean, the study of here. So it will be, uh, the study of the clean of all of this one, human behavior, cultures, and all that. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, yeah, this is uh, okay. So, you take off all this uh, stuff here, yeah. Else, it is very, very good. So, assume you have finished. Let me cancel this number, number two. Assume you have finished. And so that's it. You go, go back to course. And uh, if a student, okay, look at this now. You, like, as I mentioned to you, you can navigate through here, through here. Test or lesson one. Let's go to introduction to sociology, lesson one. So a student now comes in here to look at this and says it and say test on lesson one. And then clicks on here. See what's going to happen. Yeah. Test on lesson one, it's loading now. Yeah, you can see. This quiz, ladies and gentlemen, is not currently available. The quiz no go open until 10 July at 8 a.m. And when it opens, you are going to have only two questions to answer in 10 minutes. So that's how easy it is to get your questions loaded to set up the quiz in Moodle. To let you have a feel of how this thing will look on the 10th of July, 
but it's not 10th of July, it's 8th of July. Let, let me now modify the, let me reset the uh, quiz. And there's the date, let, let's backdate it. Let, let's have the date. Uh, let's see this. So we're going to uh, reset the quiz. So this is it. So we're going to edit local, edit settings of the quiz. I'm going to make the date earlier. So you are going to now see, yeah, this is the third date. So what do you think I should be looking at? Timing, of course, timing. So I'm going to change this timing to put it as maybe the 4th of July. Yeah, 4th of July. And I will just say, save a return to course. So let us see how, <laughs> whether I'll be able to take that course now or not. So it's returning to course. So I come, I'm the student, as a test on, let's say, what? I click on it. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> or you borrow the law, you borrow something else, you can see. This quiz open on the 4th of July. I will close where is the test. Attempt quiz now, yes. So you know how this thing will tell you. The quiz has a time limit of 10 minutes. Time will come. Start attempt. So here we go. Start attempt. It now gives me, if you have 10 questions, it gives you 10 questions. So this is easy. Uh, yeah, you, uh, you can see what I mean. You know, she had it as bold. And the thing is now giving us as bold. That's why I said, put it red. It's not going to show it as red. It's going to show it as uh, whatever. So let's see now. Uh, this, this, finish attempt. Yes, I finished attempt. You can see it's uh, loading it. As I say, return to attempt. I have nine minutes left. Submit all and finish. Submit and finish. So that's how it goes. You can see that the quiz part is another very interesting one. Uh, yeah, you can see. You can see that. Okay, you, you are very familiar with this. So in this course, we have really moved up. We did the course outline. We did the uh the lesson notes now we have done the quiz so what's the assignment for you i'll tell you in a minute yeah so phase two is now over good practicals and uh let's look at what we learned in this lesson uh we actually reviewed lesson four we we'll looked at the assignments and the scores on the discussion forum your contributions to the discussion forum and uh, your scores on the test and uh, we set up a test module and uploaded two test items uh yeah you know we we'll play two te test items uh on not me vicky mrs ulutola emosis i'm going to delete it let me actually do it right now so that you have uh, a clean slate so how do you delete just go to edit go to delete it will ask you are you sure that you want to delete the quiz test on lesson one. Yes, I'm very sure. You can see the thing don't go, come out, finish. Yeah, so we set up the test model and upload two test items, as I said, and I've, I've deleted the, the test item. So what's the assignment for this week? Two assignments. Set up your own for lesson one, the quiz, the two items, set them up. And then let me know that you have set them up and I'll go and check. And then you propose a topic for your discussion forum one, for your lesson one. What is the topic for your discussion forum one? Uh, so the due date is Thursday, July 11. So what is cooking next week? What are we going to be looking at next week? Next week, we're going to learn how you set up the discussion forum. And then we are set to admit our students. You know, when we start this course, you say you cannot enroll yourself. So you cannot, of course, I can enroll you. You can, if I set it up that you can enroll yourself, but that will not work. Let anybody be enrolling themselves, whether students that are qualified to come or not. So I'm going to show you how you can enroll the students for your course and you can start to enroll. Uh, once again, thank you for being part of this lesson, for being wonderful students. Uh, until next lesson, it is by from me, your facilitator, Peter Okibukola. Okay,